Hello, I'm Sienna Bells. Welcome to my channel, Learning Bells Live, and today we're going to talk about Olympian Standard Mathematics on the topic, mensuration. I'm going to write the sum before we can begin. Two semicircles of equal radii are cut out of the semicircular piece of cardboard. Find the area of the shaded portion. Okay, first thanks, let us understand this diagram very well. This is a semicircle, uh, which has a cardboard piece, and it's 14 meters of diameter. Capital R represents the, the radius of the big semicircle, and here, small r represents the radius of the small semicircles that were cut out of the bigger semicircle. Based on this information, we will solve this sum. First piece that is given here is that R plus capital R plus capital R gives the diameter of this big semicircle. Like, we can equate this as like this, 2 into capital R equal to 14. Or, R equal to 7. That means the radius of this big semicircular pace is 7 meters. Now, we need to find the radius of the smaller semicircles. And here, in this case, R, capital R, acts as the diameter for the smaller semicircles, and small r is the radius of the small semicircle. Accordingly, we make our equation again. 2 into small r equal to capital R, or capital R's value is 7. So, 2 into small r equal to 7, or small r equal to 7 by 2. So, 7 by 2 meters is the radius of the small semicircles. So, again, let's recall our values. Here, the radius of the big semicircle is 7 meters, and radius of the small semicircle is 7 by 2 meters. Using this information, which we got just now, we will now make an expression to find out the area of the shaded portion. So, um, just remember these values, and I'm erasing the board so that we can move on to finding the shaded area. So, now we can move on to finding the area of the shaded portion. How to do so? We need to subtract the area created by these two small semicircles from area of the big semicircle. How to find the area of the big semicircle? The area of the circle is pi r squared. So area of the semicircle would be half of that, half pi r squared. And in this case, r would be capital R because capital R is the radius of the big semicircle. So first, let's note that down. Half into pi capital R squared. Now we need to subtract the area created by these two small semicircles. That is two times the area of one of them. Two into half into pi small r squared because small r is the radius of the small semicircles. And finally, our unit meter squared. Now we're taking common factor as half into pi. We're left with capital R squared minus 2 small r squared. Capital R's value was 7. 2 and 2. Small R's value was 7 by 2 meters. I'm canceling 2 and 22 to get 11. I 
did this because 7 squared can be taken common, and I did 4 because 4 can be canceled with 2. Here we get 2. So now we can move on to our next step. We're taking 7 squared common. We're canceling, we get 7 here, and 1 minus half is half only. 11 to 7 to the half. Now, 7 by 2 is 3.5, so 11 and 2, 3.5. And this calculation can be done mentally to get 38.5 meters squared, which is our final answer. I'm giving you a few moments to look at the expression, which is used to find the area of the shaded portion to clear your concept clearly. Hope you enjoyed solving the sum with me, and please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you.